Hello mga kabagnus! Welcome to my channel! Today we're going to talk about the story behind the iconic picture, The Kiss of Life. It was in 1968, the author of this picture received the Pulitzer Prize for this photograph. This is one of the most prestigious awards in the United States, which is awarded for achievements in music, cinema, theater, and journalism. This picture was taken in 1967 by Rocco Morabito, the photo called The Kiss of Life. The picture shows two electricians, Randall Champion and Jay Thompson, hanging from a power pole, giving mouth-to-mouth to, -mouth to co-worker. That day, there was a strong heat and nothing foreshadowed trouble. The hum of air conditioners in July 1967 was heard throughout the state of Florida. Because of them, in the city of Jacksonville, there was an overload of power lines, and this caused a power surge. Randall Champion and Jay Thompson were doing routine maintenance on a live line when Randall Champion accidentally touched one of the wires. A discharge of 4,000 volts passed through the body and his heart stopped. For understanding during the execution of the electric chair, a voltage of 2,000 volts is used Randall's lifeless body hung from the hardest. He went unconscious. Fortunately, his safety harness prevented a fall. But his partner Jay Thompson did not lose his head, realizing that every second is precious. Thompson, who had been ascending below him, quickly reached champion and performed mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. He began to give him artificial respiration right on the pole. It was very inconvenient, right? Thompson was unable to perform CPR given the circumstances, but there was no other way out. Meanwhile, Rocco Morabito, a photographer, was driving on West 26th Street on July 1967 on another assignment when he looked up and saw Champion dangling from the pole. He called an ambulance and grabbed his camera. Morabito said, I passed this man working and went on to my assignment. I took eight photos at the strike. I thought I'd go back and see if I could find another picture. But when Morabito went back to the lineman, I heard screaming. I looked up and I saw the man hanging down. Oh my god, I didn't know what to do. I took a picture right quick. JD Thompson was running toward the pole. I went to my car and called an ambulance. I got back to the pole and Thompson was breathing into champion. I backed off, way off, until I hit a house and I couldn't go any farther. I took another picture. Then I heard Thompson shouting down, He is breathing! In such a situation, it is difficult to conduct a normal resuscitation. But Jay Thompson still tried to start his friend's heart until he had a weak pulse. Only after that, he unhooked the partner's insurance and throwing him over his shoulder. Then he went down to the ground. By the time the rescuers arrived, Randall Champion was already conscious on the ground. Not only was he saved, thanks to Jay Thompson, but Randall Champion lived another 35 five years and he died at the age of 64. Jay Thompson is alive until today and he is the company owner of Jay Thompson Electric. Service on your schedule. Rocco Morabito on the other hand, the photographer won a 1968 Pulitzer Prize for spot news photography for the kiss of life. The photograph was published in newspapers around the world and he died on April 5, 2009 while in hospice care. I love this story so much guys. That's why I decided to engrave it in a Jimmy Lino wood. Look at the picture. That is Jay Thompson giving mouth to mouth to Randall Champion. Look, very nice photo. What a remembrance. That's our story. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video and don't forget to like and subscribe.